Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation over the... Uh, I'm pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable and you know you can overcome any health issue, that is why we are here every day on the Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system it's a regenerating system it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis and while some folks may call that healing renewing regenerating system a miracle it really is just the way the body works if you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs we are here for you we welcome your calls we want to be your go-to health resource for clear concise succinct non-salesy honest information 844-236-6010 that's what we're all about here on the bright side we want to make your life better with information about how your body works that nobody's talking about not doctors not alternative practitioners not health radio shows not health tv shows not television doctors nobody is talking about these basic simple ideas of healing the body of how the body gets sick and of healing the body and of slowing down the aging process that's what we do every day on the bright side 844-236-6010 is our number if you want to contribute to the conversation or if you have a success story you'd like to share if you want to purchase any of our truth skin health products you want to head to truthtreatments.com, check out our retinol 5% gel, as well as our truth serum, truth balm, truth omega-6 healing cream, all made with copious, generous, abundant amounts of vitamin C, fat-soluble premium vitamin C. Our truth serum is nearly 80% vitamin C. That's unheard of, folks. Our Truth Balm, our Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, and our Truth Retinol Gel never have any preservative, fragrance, filler, wax, oil, silicone, water, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want. You can find out all about the products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Of course, if you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised on the program or join the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee, start yourself a business, please call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470 or head over to brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com or pharmacistben.com and purchase products or sign up right off the websites. Okay, so we're continuing talking about the connective tissue, what I call the missing link, the, uh, the, uh, the missing link in the development of all chronic long-term degenerative diseases, including cancer and heart disease, the two biggies. Fibrosis and connective tissue are the underlying link. When we talk about fibrosis, we're talking about excessive connective tissue production. This is one of the ways the body protects itself. All chronic disease is the manifestation of a protective, a defensive response. The idea is not to shut it down. The idea is not to shut down this protective response. The idea is to figure out what is the body protecting itself from. If you take home one message from the bright side, and if you want to distill every single program we've done for the last five years, that's what the message is. That's what the point is. Get the stuff out of the body that's abusing it, that is causing the body to uh, react in a defensive posture. It's all about defensive posture. Inflammation, irritation, fibrosis, these are all defensive, uh, the markers of a defensive response. And connective tissue breakdown following, or, or which is followed by the formation of fibers is the fundamental biochemical phenomena of all chronic degenerative disease. And I'm including, I'm including accelerated aging. All chronic de- degenerative disease and accelerated aging. 
All physiologic stress will ultimately lead to fibrosis. All physiologic stress will ultimately lead to fibrosis, excessive secretion of fibers. Once the fibers are secreted in excessive amounts, you get blockages, and that's the disease process right there. The blockages lead to nutritional deficiencies at the cell level. The cell can't get fed. The blockages lead to a, a lack of oxygen. The cells can't get oxygenated. And the blockages lead to an accumulation of toxicity because the toxicity cannot get out. This leads to more cell sickness, cell death, leads to more in, uh, starvation, suffocation, toxification. Starvation, suffocation, toxification, inflammation, starvation, suff starvation, suffocation, toxification, inflammation. It keeps going on and on. And this accounts for the degenerative nature of diseases. And this is an important idea for a couple of reasons. Number one, it provides a very physiologic, a very important physiologic mechanism for this well-known connection between stress and chronic disease. Stress leads to fibrosis. Secondly, it provides a very important strategy at the most fundamental level for dealing with illness of all form. Use nutrients that help the body handle stress that help the body handle stress without going into emergency chemistry. This is the most powerful anti-fibrotics uh, nutritional strategy. Now, of course, it doesn't do any good to keep eating the sugar and to keep eating the gluten and to keep eating the stuff that's making the food toxic and to keep freaking out about the littlest things in your life. It doesn't do any good to do that, but be that as it may, using nutrition and using dietary strategies and using dietary supplements, you could do a lot to alleviate the negative effects because you're helping the body handle the stress. And this includes things like pregnenolone, which we've talked about at length, DHEA, which we've talked about at length, progesterone, vitamin E, vitamin C, anything that helps the body handle sugar, any, uh, and that includes low carb and keto, and of course, keeping digestive toxins and digestive allergies out of the blood. Folks, this is what we say every day. We talk about this every day, but now you have the physiologic, the direct physiologic mechanism. By the way, cruciferous veggies are wonderful. Veggies in general are wonderfully anti-fibrotic, but especially cruciferous veggies, your broccoli and, and, crucif uh, and uh, uh, cauliflower and uh, radishes and horse, ra uh, what else? Uh, Brussels sprouts are a cruciferous vegetable. Cabbage is a cruciferous vegetable. So eating cruciferous vegetables, which contain substances called uh, uh, DIM and I3C and other things called gl glucosinolates. DIM and I3C, by the way, are other uh, two very important antifibrotic substances you can buy in a health food store. They're also found in the cruciferous vegetables. So at the end of the day, it's this chronic irritation of a tissue or an organ compounded by nutritional deficiencies and toxicity and poor mental and emotional strategies, which is responsible for disease as well as accelerated aging. So periodic chronic irritation followed by chronic inflammation and culminating with fibrosis. That's how it happens. The, uh, tissue gets irritated. Just think of a, a grain of sand rubbing on something, rubbing and rubbing and rubbing. Eventually, the tissue gets inflamed. That's a protective response. After the inflammation, the chronic inflammation uh, continues. The body will culminate the whole process with hardening, with forming a cement in that area to protect it. That's the fibrosis. It's a cement. It's a protective, uh, a protective substance. This leads, of course, to the, pro, uh, the toxicity of malnourishment and low oxygen levels. And all, all of this is about a, addressing the connective tissue and anything that is abusing or, or, or uh, causing a deterioration or a breakdown of the connective tissue. And you don't need a doctor for any of this. In fact, a doctor can only make things worse because what they'll do is they'll give you drugs for antifibrosis or drugs for anti-inflammation. But all of these drugs, because they work by suppressing things, have come with side effects. The body is doing a good thing with fibrosis. You get this? The body is doing a good thing with the, the, what ultimately shows up as disease. The body is, is great. It's perfect. It doesn't know this is happening all the time. These are protective responses that are supposed to occur once in a while. We've created a culture where these protective responses are induced 24-7 practically. And this has only been over the last 10,000 years and, and at an accelerated pace over the last 50 to 100 years. Around 10,000 years ago, we started to get sick in big ways, in degenerative ways. And a big part of that was digestive toxicity from how we ate. Now, it didn't really get going until, uh, you know, 200 years ago and then 100 years ago and then 50 and then over the last 10 years. Oh, my God. What we've done to the food supply over the last 10 years is guaranteed fibrosis food. All right. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back right after this. We are back on the 
Brave Side, 844-236-6010 is our number, and we do have lines open at 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, the longevity business formulations, ingredients, skin health questions, or of course, if you have a comment or a success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side and try to call in early. If you're on hold, we'll get to you at the bottom of the hour as we always do on the bright side. Okay, if you want to purchase any of our True Skin Health products, go to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products, go to brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. And if you'd like to purchase any of our Brightside Health products, including our bone broth protein, CBD oil, Pure Hem Technology, CBD oil, our digestive enzyme products, all are up at brightsidehealth.com, brightsidehealth.com. So chronic irritation followed by chronic inflammation followed by fibrosis leads to toxicity, malnourishment, and low oxygen levels, which leads to more inflammation and fibrosis, and that's it. That's your disease process, period. And you don't need a doctor to address any of these things. We can address all of these ideas, all of the, all of the problems associated with this, this, this process, if you will, of chronic irritation, chronic inflammation, culminating into a, a fibrotic condition. This is all stuff that we can deal with on our own. There's nothing a doctor can do except make things worse. It's so important, you guys. There's nothing a doctor can do except make things worse. This, this meme, this virus, mind virus, that we seem to be hypnotized. Uh, if we've fallen under, the spell we've fallen under, that we go to the doctor when we're sick is absurd because nobody gets better. That is in terms of chronic illness. Now, if your doctor is one of the rare ones who's educating, doctor means educator, who's teaching you, that's different. But just to be drugged, to go into your, your HMO, like uh, into one side of the revolving door through your HMO into your doctor's office with, and then back the other way with a prescription in your hand is absurd. It's, it has nothing to do with health. Nothing to do with health. Despite these commercials we see on TV every, every hour almost, every half hour. On the other hand, we could do this thing ourselves. Reduce sugar, eliminate toxicity, hydrate appropriately, avoid problem foods, support the health of the intestine, movement, stretching, exercise, which we talked about in our last program. All of these represent not a, not a cure. I hate that word cure because that's magic cure. They represent reversal. And this is how the body works. There's no cure. It's reversal because disease is a process. It's a verb. It's an action. Something's happening. We're diseasing. We don't have a disease. We're diseasing. When you make a, a, a noun into a verb, you create movement. It can be reversed. When you have a noun, it can't be reversed. A noun is a thing. It doesn't disappear. It's a thing. That's why they have to talk about cures. Magic. Poof. Diseases are not cured because they're not nouns. They're diseasings. They're verbs, so they're reversed. And all of them are reversible. All of them. This should be, su this should be such, such good news to anyone out there who's dealing with a chronic degenerative illness or dealing with someone, a loved one, who has a chronic degenerative illness. Now, this relationship, by the way, between inflammation and disease, fibrosis, inflammation, and disease is counterintuitive to the average person. I got a, saw a picture, and I'm going to post this somewhere. I got to figure out what I want to do with it. It's a picture of a guy or of hands that are eczematic. They have eczema. It's called hand eczema, and it's a really distressing condition. Uh, it, it's not only unpleasant to look at, it's just painful. You get these fissures and cracks in your skin. I call it alligator skin. They call it hand eczema. So I got this picture, and underneath it, it there's a whole article. This is on a medical, from a medical journal, the dermatologist. I get this every month, and it's, it's got awesome skin skin information from the doctor's perspective, which is always important. So anyway, they got this picture of hand eczema, and underneath it, it says it's an inflammatory disease. Now, this is, this is a very important point. Eczema is an inflammatory illness, folks. It's the same condition that we're talking about here, but uh, it's happening in the hands. Here's the problem. When you look at your hands and you see the pain, you see the fissures and the cracks and the, and the, the dryness and the flakiness, it doesn't look like an inflammatory disease. You can't tell that there's fibrosis that's involved there because it just looks like there's something on the surface. But underneath what's occurring is fibrosis and connective tissue disease underneath. Now, why is this important? Because the connective tissue is related to the, di the or, or the irritation or the inflammation or the fibrosis in the connective tissue is related to something we're putting in the body. Fibrosis, inflammation, follow irritation. Irritation, it means something's coming in and irritating. 
So eczema, even though it doesn't look like it, this hand eczema, which just looks so distressing, is at the end, is the end result, the culmination of irritation and inflammation and fibrosis. But it doesn't look that way, so we think we can rub Gold's Bond on it or put a steroid cream on it, which, by the way, is antifibrotic. So it's, this idea of fibrosis underneath disease is not, it doesn't automatically make sense. That's why doctors call diseases idiopathic. Idiopathic means we have no idea what's causing it. And this is why doctors can't do anything about it because they don't see that there's an inflammation and a fibrosis underneath. That's migraine headaches, for example. Who the heck, unless you've been listening to this program or reading up or you're a scientist or a biologist, who, wouldn't, who would associate inflammation and fibrosis with a migraine headache? Well, that's what's causing it. Interstitial cystitis. This is one of the most frustrating conditions anybody could have. It's when you have a, a chronic bladder infection, a bladder infection that never ends. Can you imagine this? If you've had a bladder infection, it never ends. And it's really painful even worse than a regular bladder infection. What causes it? Doctors don't know. They're mystified. Well, I'm telling you what causes it. Irritation, inflammation, and fibrosis, which means if you have any of these health challenges by controlling the, irrit the, the, bi the, the biochemistry at the irritation, inflammation, and fibrosis level, you can correct any degenerative disease, and that includes accelerated aging, which isn't technically a disease, but it's still a biochemical issue. Even though it appears like the gums and the bone and the blood vessels and the brain and the skin and the digestive tract are all these separate parts in the body, they are not. They are all connected. They are all linked because they're all part of the connective tissue system. And this is where disease begins. Everything is linked by the connective tissue and all disease is linked by connective tissue symptomology. And this is the hidden secret that if you understand, I, don't, I know I've been pounding this thing for a couple of months, but it's so darn important. If you understand what we're talking about here, you are smarter than your doctor. You are more able to handle yourself, your health business, than your doctor. And if you're a doctor listening, please start to use these ideas. Teach people these ideas. And I know we have physicians that, and nurses that listen to this program. So we look at the body not as composed of separate parts, but unified by the connective tissue. And when we deal with this, this, this one unifying force, we will, we will be dealing with the manifestation of seemingly disparate and diverse diseases and body parts. Otherwise, if we don't, we're just going to go to a digestive specialist and a heart specialist and a bone specialist and a migraine specialist and a gynecologic, gynecological specialist. And anyone who's had the misfortune of dealing with these well-meaning, well-meaning healthcare professionals, well-meaning, they're not, they're not bad people, they're well-meaning, but they're biochemically naive and maybe biochemically ignorant. And you know if you've been dealing with these, these physicians, mostly, there's nothing they can do except for taking some part out or shoot us up with, uh, with uh, radiation. Or, of course, ablate us, electrically cauterize us, or poison us, chemically cauterize us, chemically destroy us. But if we focus on the common threads that run underneath all these various structures, we can address things at the causal level. By far and away, by far and away, the primary site of injury and irritation of the body is in this connective tissue system. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. We will finish up when we come back from our break and take your phone calls. 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. Thanks for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on the archive pages at brightsideben.com and pharmacistben.com. Our number today, 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010 if you have questions about the longevity products or business or if you want to contribute to the conversation or if you have a success story, 844-236-6010 is our number. And uh, hang tight if you're on hold. We'll get to you in just a minute. A couple studies I want to uh, pull off, uh, off the Internet today. I want to talk to you about this is from the, uh, the Baltimore Longitudin Longitudinal Longitudinal Study of Aging from Emory University and published in the journal Cell Systems. Alzheimer's. Proteomics gives clues toward alternatives to amyloid. They are trying to figure out, when you have Alzheimer's disease, they're trying to figure out what to do about this amyloid, this amyloid plaques 
This is what doctors will tell you is the cause of the disease. But if you've been listening to the program here for the last couple of weeks, a couple of months even, you know Alzheimer's is fibrosis, amyloidosis. Yes, these proteins, these fibers that are secreted in the brain, that are in the brain, that are ca uh, doctors will tell you cause Alzheimer's, do not cause Alzheimer's. They themselves are caused by chronic irritation, leading to chronic inflammation, leading to fibrosis, leading to uh, amyloidosis, if you will. In fact, amyloid plaques don't just develop in the brain. Do you know you can have a disease called amyloidosis that can affect your pancreas? It can affect your liver. It can affect any organ. It can affect your thyroid. It can be a cause of hypothyroidism. Yes, fibrosis can be a cause of hypothyroidism. Following this inflammation, irritation, or irritation, inflammation, fibrosis uh, process. Amyloidosis is a disease, folks. It's an official disease. It can happen anywhere in the body. Any gland, any organ in the body can, 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 uh, can have amyloidosis or amyloid plaques, amyloid fibers. So what's, what's up? Why is the body going crazy? Is the body stupid? It's just secreting amyloid fibers for no good reason? No. It's secreting amyloid fibers as a protective response. And if it happens in the pancreas, they'll call it diabetes. And if it happens in the adrenal or the thyroid, they'll call it hypothyroidism. If it happens in the adrenal glands, they'll call it adrenal disease. They'll call it uh, uh, Addison's disease. If it happens in uh, the, the kidneys, they'll tell you you have kidney disease. It's all fibrosis. It's all the body protecting itself. How important is that? This is, we have now eliminated the need for doctors, for drugs. For surgeries, unless you do, uh, of course, if you're, uh, you know, if you're severely, severely fibrotic, you may need to have some kind of medical intervention. Now, I haven't forgotten talking about heart disease. Heart disease is also a fibrotic condition, including arrhythmias, which you would never think. Who would think arrhythmias or have to do with fibrosis? Well, when you understand this connective tissue relationship to the entire body, remember the connective tissue is not just connecting. It's feeding, it's detoxifying, and it's oxygenating. And we should call this the connective tissue show because all the strategies for staying healthy involve building connective tissue. And this, by the way, is why bone soup is so absolutely over the top amazing. And I've been talking about it for decades and now you're starting to hear a lot about it for good reason. Bone soup is the quintessential connective tissue building food. Cartilage in general is amazingly connective tissue building. And the components in cartilage, including the components you'll find in our bone broth protein. Bone broth protein, of course, at uh, brightsidehealth.com. If you're dealing with any fibrotic condition, if you're dealing with any aging condition, if you're dealing with any degenerative disease condition, drink your bone soup, use your bone broth protein, take high hyaluronic acid and glucosamine, make sure you're getting enough vitamin C. And of course, there's other trace nutrients that you can use to support the production of, fib of, of uh, uh, the healthy production of fibers. You gotta have fiber obviously, but it has to be healthy production. And you could use things like coenzyme Q10 to support healthy production of fibers, as well as vitamin C in the B complex. Okay. I'm pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to Dan in Texas. What's going on, Dan? Good morning. Hey, Ben. I've called before. Uh, you know, thanks to you, my family, we're all on track. Uh, I've I even appreciate stopped it. listening to the news. I listen to your audio in the background regularly when I'm doing Oh, that. that's awesome. That's awesome. Did you say you yeah. stopped listening to the news? I stopped listening to the news. I did, yeah, too. Did I tell you? Oh. Did I talk about that? I don't remember if I talked about it on the air. I stopped listening to the news, and I feel a lot better. Oh. And I've been listening to the oh. news for since 1973, and I feel a lot better. How, do you notice that you feel better when you don't listen to it? Oh, it's way better. Yeah, it's way, way better. better. I mean, even, even just having it in the background. Uh, you don't think you're listening to it, but yeah. I think you are. Yeah, I used to have it on the background all the time, too. And then I stopped well, the you, last couple you months. my background. I appreciate oh, that's that. That's awesome. Thank you, Dan. Hey, Dan, yeah, send so me your, so I'm, I'm email me I'm your address. Your subliminal. Go uh -huh. ahead. Go ahead. I'm going to be your subliminal health Manchurian candidate in the end, I think. I like it. That's awesome, Dan. And you know what? If you email me at ben at ksco.com, say Dan from Texas, I'll send you out a little present, Christmas present on me. But email me oh, your okay, address. Thanks. Okay, right, good. Um, I'll send you a truth. You want a truth treatment or you want a BTT? Uh, I'll go truth treatment. My wife loves those. Okay, good. I'll send you a truth treatment. This one's for you. Don't give it to your wife. She has to buy one. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You got to hide it, though, because I notice spouses steal it, so you got to hide it. Oh, yeah. They dip in. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna, I'll send you out. I'm working with an old Chinese guy. Uh, okay. Are you a therapist? Uh, you're, wait a minute. You're a therapist or, or for no, longevity? I, I told you I'm, I'm your mentoring candidate anymore. You know, once you start feeling better, 
There's you want everybody to know. I see what you're saying. I thought you were going to run for political office. I, I think there's even a little guilt factor because, like, once you start, if I feel good and I'm not sharing it a little bit. I know, I Dan. Exactly. That's why I do this program and I do my presentations. You feel guilty. Oh, you need people. Yeah. You want everybody to know, right? That's ex- yeah, you get yeah. it. Man, that's awesome, Dan. I appreciate you because you really get it. You hit the nail on the head. You got me programmed in. All right. I love it. I love it. Okay, cool. So what's going on? How can I help you today? All right. All right, old Chinese guy, he's 80. His main problem is just that he's 80. When he gets stressed, uh, the heart gets a little fluttery. Thanks to you, your show again, uh, I've kind of convinced him. You know, old guys don't usually uh, suffer uh, any advice from young guys. Old man's disease. Him. Old man's Ooh, disease. Yeah. He, uh, he thought we, I, I got him to use your relaxation techniques you talk about, and it's okay. kind of funny. His favorite, being his age, I, I would never would have guessed, is the breathing app. So he says that definitely helps with the awesome. heart issue. Awesome. Always coming back around asking, like, hey, is there anything that can get me more energy? So I'm thinking I love BTT it. 2.0. Absol- absolutely. Um, BTT 2.0. That's the first thing. My question is, yeah, the yeah, the first, yeah, easy. Um, the first question I have is where, you know, people from our culture, you know, American culture, you'd reach for a glass of ice water. The Chinese right. love hot water. They love hot water, warm I, water, and I they're very the wise. Middle. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, you can address that. Uh, yeah, warm yeah. water is soothing. Cold water tends to be stimulating. Warm water is soothing, yang and yin, if you will. And uh, and the, the Asian people have a deep appreciation for how to relax and how to soothe things. And hot water, it tends to be more soothing. Like a cup of hot tea. It's A lot of that's the yeah. heat, not the tea. So what are you going right. to ask about the BTT, about the, the minerals? BTT and hot water, I get the minerals are going to be fine. And uh, there are probiotics, so I'm thinking, you know, what? You don't want it boiling. Yeah. You know, you don't want it boiling. And the idea with hot water is not super hot. You want it kind of close to body temperature because you want it to be sure. soothing. You don't want it to be really sharp. So, okay. you know, if you're close to body temperature, it's going to be a body temperature anyway when it gets in your body, right? Yeah. Any way you look right. at it. So, you know, just don't boil it. But a little bit of hot water, if you drink it up real quickly, probably isn't going to be too significant. See how you feel. And, and the BTT is very tasty as a tea. You know, we don't talk about that a lot, yeah, but it's right. very, very tasty as a tea. So, uh, you know, warm it up on a cold winter day, a cold winter morning. Put it in the microwave for 30 seconds or whatever. Hey, hang on, Dan. i got to take a break, and then we'll finish up, okay? Okay. Thanks. All right. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Got lines open. 844-236-6010. We'll take a commercial break and come back with your phone calls and more good health information on the bright side. Okay. We are back on the bright side. 436-6010 is our number. We're talking to Dan in Texas. Okay, what's up, Dan? Uh, hot, uh, hot water, BTT. I wouldn't worry about it. Make a nice tea. Is that was that your main question, or you have anything else you want to add? Main question, yeah. Just how okay, to use it if hot water compromised uh, anyway. Uh, I wouldn't worry about it. D- uh, don't boil Great. it and, and uh, drink it warm. And I appreciate your kind words. And I really Thank appreciate you. what you said about not watching the news. I want everybody to really hear that. Uh, I'll let you, that that's an awesome idea, Dan. Thank you so much. Have a, And don't you forget bet. to send me an email with your address, okay? And Thank hey, what truth, product, what truth product is your wife using? Her favorite you know? is the Omega-6 healing cream. She has kind oh, of lips, yeah. her lips kind of crack a little bit. She loves putting that on there. That is awesome for your lips. You're right. All right, Dan, take care, man. All right. I loved what he said about not watching the news, by the way, because I stopped. I've been watching the news since 1973. I've been reading news. I read Newsweek magazine cover to cover in 1973. I've been following politics and all that stuff. And and this after this election or right before it, I just decided I wasn't going to watch it. And you know what? I feel better. And it's really about, first of all, what do you think? There's the subliminal messages in all of these things. There's a, there's a drumbeat of not okayness, and it subliminally affects you. And this is why disengaging is so important for the disengaging from the machine, reengaging with God, with spirituality, with divinity, which is everywhere, and disengaging from the machine. It's the machine versus divinity or God. Disengaging from the, the political machine, the cultural machine. We talk here on this program about disengaging from the health machine. Disengaging from the food machine, disengaging from the machine and becoming more human, becoming more divine, becoming more flesh and blood, uh, becoming more God-made and less man-made, if you will. 
the news is not your friend, folks. And I know we're to have a nutritional program here, but we really have a health program. And if you're interested in health, we're interested in health. We've got to be interested in all aspects of health. And the news is not our mental health friend. The news is not our uh, emotional health friend. And I guarantee you, your life will not be different if you don't know uh, what's happening in the so-called news. 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to Karen in Massachusetts. Good morning, Karen. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. What's cooking? What's going on? Um, actually, I'm calling about my daughter. I had a couple questions I wanted to get sure. your opinion on. Okay. Okay, she's 22, and she has um, um, severe anxiety, and she okay. has she's um, overweight, but she also has, um, like, hormone problems. She takes, like, 200. I, I, I got it all. I got the picture, sweetheart. How, she's 22. She, her periods are probably totally messed up, correct? Um, um, I don't know if that. Well, they are. There's no way she can have a, the, all that symptomology. It's a, it's a, sim, it's a syndrome. It's a constellation of symptoms that all appear together. Everything you're talking about, and I can tell you a bunch of other ones. And she, if I were, you know, if if she, I were to talk to her on the phone and she didn't know who I was, she, I could do a psychic reading on her. I could tell her I'm a psychic, but I'm not. It just all happens together, mm -hmm. and it starts, it starts with the digestive system. She's probably okay. dealing with PCOS. You ever hear this term, PCOS? Oh yes, we think she might have that. But... No, you, she does. There's no thing. Okay. She does. There's no thinking. You don't need a test for it. She's got all of the signs, right. all the symptoms. You go by the symptoms. So you deal with PCOS, okay? okay? So what is PCOS? It's everything we talk about on this program in a nutshell, the digestive system and the blood sugar system. Now, okay. it tumbles out of control from that point, and it does affect her female hormones and uh, her adrenal glands and then her thyroid and then her skin, and it tumbles out of control. But we need to work, at it, work with it at the fundamental level, correct? You understand? Right. Make sense? Number one, digestion. When we don't process our food correctly, we produce toxic estrogen, toxic okay. versions of estrogen. Estrogen breaks down into toxic metabolites, toxic byproducts. Does that make sense? Yes. This starts at the gut, and it usually starts young. So you've got to start working with, a pro first of all, you've got to eliminate food toxins and food allergies. She probably has a, an issue with fatty foods. So you've got to focus on fat metabolism using digestive. She needs fatty foods, but she's going to have a problem with them, and she should, she should stick to avocado, good fats, avocados, fish, eggs, dairy, if she can do dairy or if she can do eggs. Good fats. I'm not talking about just you know any fat, French fries or anything. So good fats. She needs those, and she needs to be working on processing them by using digestive enzymes with her fats, mm -hmm. bile salts, lecithin, apple cider vinegar with with all meals really, but especially with fats. And then you, uh, probiotics are incredibly underrecognized and underappreciated, unless you've been listening to this show, mm -hmm. as a problem, uh, as a uh, an issue when it comes to malabsorption of fats and when it comes to hormone metabolism. The probiotics interact with hormones, they interact with bile, they interact with liver, with the liver, good bacteria. So you got to repopulate the gut. All right. That means that means fermented food, fermented veggies, especially. And that also means probiotics. Get on the nightly essence. Use the Fucoid Z from Longevity. If you're doing Longevity products, the Fucoid Z and then uh, more fiber. Have her doing vegetable juices every day. Zero tolerance to the to the extent that she wants to get rid of her anxiety. Her anxiety may have some emotional issue, emotional uh, uh, causes. I don't know that. And I'm always a little bit hesitant to recommend physical pro physical protocols for emotional and mental issues. But uh, there's got to be a large biochem, uh, a physiologic, not mental or emotional, uh, uh, aspect to her anxiety. So all of this is going to res help resolve the anxiety. You, you follow me? Yes. The next thing is the uh, blood sugar. Keep the blood sugar stable. No sweets, breads, mm -hmm. cereals. And I, I say no, but uh, you know, I, I'm well aware that it's impossible. So reduce your intake. Okay, as best as you can. Understand the link. Pay attention to the link. Pay attention to the link between her digestion or the foods she's eating and her digestion and her anxiety. The anxiety is awesome, and I'll tell you why. It's really great. Let me tell you why, okay? Because it's her barometer to how healthy or not healthy she is or how on the right track or, on the, or, or off the right track she is. You follow? Mm-hmm. Okay, so anxiety is a barometer. She's lucky she has that. When her anxiety improves, she's on the right track. When it gets worse, she's on the wrong track. That's all disease is well, in general. She takes a lot of medication for that right now because she couldn't go. She takes a it. lot of meditation. She should take a lot medication. of meditation. No, she should take a lot of meditation. <laughs> that's the that's the medication <laughs> is yeah. meditation. So yeah, you know, and I'm not, I'm I was teasing a little bit, but I'm being mm -hmm. serious. Meditation is awesome, awesome. 
It's better than any nutritional supplement is meditation. And I know, you know, I, I, I have listeners to the program who don't like when I start going off on the, the whole spiritual thing. But listen, it's not even spiritual. I don't want any, meditation's not spiritual. It's biochemical and mm-hmm. biological. So doing it, sitting on the, on the couch, practicing deep breathing, practicing gratitude. You know, we got to practice thinking. We got to practice right. it. We think, th- we think thinking is just thinking and it just happens. No, we're programmed to think. And if we don't exercise our thinking muscles, we will think whatever we're programmed to think. And that's not good because we need to be programmed to be, th- be thinking fear. So we buy deodorant. You follow me? Right. So we, so we purchase, so we engage. So we got to be programmed with fear. So when you sit on the couch and you meditate or you p- focus on God or your breath or your body or gratitude, which is the ultimate meditation is gratitude. You're, you're training your thinking process. You're building your thinking muscle. So I want to get a couple more calls, and let me just tell you real quick. The B vitamins are wonderfully anti-anxiety, and using them uh, throughout the day. Sipping on the BTT can be very powerful. It's a, it's a B, it, you can think of it as a, a B-complex drink. So uh, sipping on the BTT or any B vitamins throughout the day will be very helpful. Okay, Karen? And, I, I, got, I, got, I just want to tell you, she also gets this dark ring around her neck and under her arms. The only way it comes off is with alcohol. Is that uh, that's detox. Her- that's that. She's toxic. That's a toxic. Right. Well, I'm not saying this to be mean, but I'm saying right. this so you know. She's a toxic girl. She's okay. got to work on the toxicity. If her body is a, was, no, if it comes off and well, yeah, something? no, it's everything. It's the whole smell. Well, it's everything. She's just mm-hmm. generally toxic from, and she's probably had problems when she was a kid. She's 22, mm-hmm. so she must have problems when she was a baby. Must yeah, have. She, when she was younger, she had a little bit of it. Had to. It had right. to. It couldn't tumble out of control this rapidly right. unless it started early. All right. I got to go, Karen. God okay, bless you, you and good luck with everything. And call back. Let us know how she's doing, okay? Thank you. Thanks, Karen. Bye-bye. All right. Eight, four, four, well, let's see. We're out of time almost. Let's get, let's, uh, get to Truth Raider. You get the last word. What's up, Truth Raider? Oh, good morning. Good morning, Pharmacist Ben. <laughs> good morning. Freezing this morning. We're yeah. in Oregon. You're freezing? Yes. Three inches of snow. Partly cloudy today right now, but tomorrow we have an, a little bit more chance of snow tomorrow. Well, thank you for the weather change. report there, Carl. <laughs> yeah. You didn't call to give me the weather, though. So no, tell, what's going on? we got about a minute. I'm freezing, yeah. but I'm motivated. But anyway, uh, hey, uh, Craig Sager, the famous yeah, analyst. Yeah, sports uh, guy. Character of, tele- uh, of NBA basketball and uh, television reporting with his uh, outlandish suits and what personality passed away from leukemia yesterday. How old so was tell he? Me, how what old was is he? lacking to cause leukemia so, in someone? Yeah, it's a great question, but how, how old was he? He was an old guy, 60, wasn't he? 65. Oh, he's oh, he was only 65. Oh, my only gosh. 65. That's terrible. All right, here's leukemia. Leukemia is a blood cancer. Blood cells divide rapidly, so they're very prone. It, it, cells that divide rapidly are more prone towards getting cancer. It is just a stressful a stressful condition on the cells. That's what all cancer is. And I'm out of time, uh, Carl, but I appreciate your call. Thank you so much. I wish we had time, to, more time to talk about cancer. It's just another manifestation of this overloaded stress, overloaded stress response. Too much stress in the body from a lack of nutrition, a lack of oxygen, and toxification, and that includes sugar. And that's why getting on a good nutritional supplement program can be your best health friend. Check out all our, young, our longevity products at criticalhealthnews.com, pharmacistben.com, or brightsideben.com. I am Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening. Have a wonderful, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to y'all later. Bye for now.